Well, welcome back to Insight. The Fort Wayne Farmers Market is open tomorrow. They're serving as a grocery store for us in this time of uh, different things where different things are closed. They've taken some measures to make sure that we're all safe. One of their vendors is here right now. Tush is here from Ocha Thai. These are some of the things that they have for us. So let's tell, tell people what all you produce. So with our uh, company business that we have um, egg rolls, so we have uh, vegan egg rolls, turkey egg rolls, and we have beef samosas, and we also have a new thing of pad thai, and we also have vegan samosas now. Okay, so I'm going to need you to explain some of those things to okay. me. I don't know what all that means. So okay. I do, I, look, I'm holding the vegan egg rolls right yes. now, right? Mm -hmm. What are, you mentioned the turkey mm -hmm. egg rolls. Tell me, go back down the list and explain to me what all we have there. Okay, so our beef samosas, mm -hmm. like a lot of people don't know what samosas are, but they are like little triangles and they have beef and potatoes in them and it's kind of like, an Indian style dish. Okay. It's got more flavor than like a normal egg roll would have. And um, yeah. <laughs> and then this is the sauce. It's a Thai sweet chili sauce. Yeah. So that's our Thai sweet chili sauce and we make that ourselves. Um, it's just Thai, uh, like chili and then we use bell pepper instead of chili so we don't, cause we don't want it to be too spicy. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really sweet, so. I, I really want to try it. I will not bust it open right here in the studio and just stick my finger in it, which is what I'd like to do so I could, you know, taste it. That would be rude of me. Um, and if these were warm, I totally would eat them right here, right now. But I will not because they're, they have not been, they're chilled. So, uh, because we're under, uh, operating under different terms than we normally operate the operate Fort Wayne's farmers market um, you're you're serving things a little differently right yes so usually we have our egg rolls fresh and ready to eat at the market but now since the since different circumstances we're having them pre-fried so and frozen so then now when people pick them up they're already packaged and they can just take them home and put them in the oven for whenever they want which is great though because that means I could buy like several package of the packages of these and then I could have them for dinner throughout the week. Yeah. About how long, I mean, if, could I take them home and put them back in the freezer or put them in the refrigerator? Yeah, you can put them back in the freezer and they should last about like a month, couple oh, weeks. Gosh. Yeah, so everything frozen, is just, it lasts longer, so. Tell me why for you as a local business person, as a local producer, why is it so important for people to be supporting our local vendors right now? So right now is really an important time to support local vendors because we're not getting the same amount of business as we usually would. And now we still have all of the products and produce and everything that we would normally have mm -hmm. on a normal basis. But since now the, like, the demand is lower because less people want to go out, but we still have everything. So it's really important for everyone to support local and be able to like, uplift our community. And we're going to talk to Bridget in a few minutes uh, exactly and talk about exactly how it's working at the farmer's market. But you were there last Saturday. I yeah. was there last Saturday. Um, give people a feel of how it worked. It's no, you can be this far apart from somebody, can't you? They're, yeah. It's very safe. Yeah, it's very safe now. The tables are really far, uh, spread far apart. And then uh, there's a fixed amount of people that will come in and then... After uh, every like every customer, I'll wipe down the table again, and the table is pretty bare. There's not much on there because everything's behind the desk. And then I'll wipe down the table after transactions, and everything's really safe and clean there. Now, if somebody's watching and they're like, "Oh, um, I'm not feeling well," mm -hmm. which if you are, we want you to stay in your home. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to come out if you're not feeling well. Are there other ways they can support you? Do you have a Facebook page or a website or something yeah. we can go to if we still want to get these delicious egg rolls and sauce? So for sure, we have Instagram, we have our phone numbers and emails that you can come out and contact us. And then also on the farmer's market, they have their website that you can find the list of all the vendors and be able to contact them through there. Um, Pre-ordering is really a big thing mm -hmm. right now, so we know how much we can bring for you guys and we won't run out. So that's, a, that's another way you can support. So we should go to your Instagram and pre-order now. That'd be a great thing mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. I should have known she was on Instagram. <laughs> she's young and hip. Of course she's on Instagram. Bridget gives me a really hard time because I have trouble with the Instagram. I'm working on it. I really am working on it. Well, you want to get to Fort Wayne's Farmer's Market tomorrow and get your stuff from Ocha Thai because let me tell you, it looks delicious. We'll be right back.